chocolate does creak and the two stones quake. Spooks and bobs are swinging wake. Happy haunts materialize. And begin to vocalize. Grim grinning ghosts are about to socialize. We are at Walt Disney Imagineering in Glendale, and this is the staging area for our Hatbox Ghost figure. The Hatbox Ghost is one of the original 999 happy haunts in the mansion. Sometime around the opening, he disappeared and has been missing from the mansion for the past 45 years. And so for the Disneyland Diamond Celebration, we thought it was a wonderful opportunity to bring him home to the mansion. Despite the fact that the Hatbox Ghost hasn't been in the mansion since around opening day in 1969, he has a cult following. There is a ton of fans for the Hatbox Ghost. He's one of the most popular figures in the mansion uh, and doesn't even exist there. It was originally installed in 1969, so we have a few different and new tricks up our sleeves. But at the same time, we're using a lot of the fundamental tricks and illusions that our forefathers like Yale Gracie and Mark Davis had pushed out in the original figure. Yale Gracie and his role in the original Haunted Mansion was pretty massive. He was the illusioneer behind all of the fun gags and all of the fun illusions that went through the Haunted Mansion. We enjoy these things to this day and still don't even know how they're done. We had very few pieces of reference for the original Hatbox Ghost figure. We had a couple of images from here at Imagineering and one piece of artwork from Mark Davis. And we used those uh, very carefully to inspire his look for today. Guests, when they travel by on their doom buggy and see the modern Hatbox Ghost, will see something that was really the original intent of our Imagineers back in 1969. When they go by, the Hatbox Ghost will be looming at them and then his head will fully disappear from the top of his shoulders and then reappear back into his hat box. And then, as they're going by, they'll see right before their eyes, like a magic trick, the head disappear from the hat box and appear right on the top of the shoulders again. Walt loved the opportunity to be able to go into his attractions and be able to, as he says, plus them up uh, and add new magic back into uh, existing attractions. And we are excited to be able to continue that today here at Imagineering. Thank you.